Habasha clothes, East African clothes. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys some clips of a tradition or celebration called Musco. How are you guys doing? Go ahead and get your coffee and your dessert or whatever it is you like. So, in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys a traditional Habasha um, holiday that we celebrate in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is called Musco. So Musco is celebrating um, finding the cross of Jesus and that's what this celebration is about. So I'm excited to share you guys and let you guys see the celebration and that's what this video is going to be about. Anywho, I hope you guys like it and see you in a bit. Bye! Hey you guys, I also forgot to mention that I went to my friend's house and her mom's house who had this celebration in their garage. That is a ethnic group in Ethiopia. If you don't already know that um, Ethiopia has about 70 plus ethnicities and multiple languages, 80 plus languages. The country is huge, it's large, it's very diverse. Um, so they even speak a different language, um, of course eat similar, the same food, but everybody has their own little twang to how they do things. So this celebration I'm going to is a Garaki family and um, their food they are known, I believe, known for, um, what is it called again? Kutfu. Lord have mercy, I done had a brain fart. So yeah, so their food is gonna have a lot of cooked food. It's, um, the, one of the traditional foods as well is dodo wood, which is like spicy chicken, but the Grage people make deli delicious cooked food. And you will see most of that. It is seasoned minced beef um, with butter and it has injetta. Injetta is the flat bread that's kind of sourdough-like bread. And we use that um, to pick up our food and you'll see that in the video. But this is dips right here. So yeah, that's one of the things. And the grage dance a little different too. This is the skista. Oh lordy. This is the skista, you know, doing your arms. And of course, they dance like that too, but they have their own dance. I'm not 100% familiar with it, but they kind of shimmy and use their hands and use their feet a lot. And you'll see that in the video, which is very interesting. I might even go ahead and try to try to do it right now. All right, just wanted to add that in there. I don't want to be tone deaf of what is going on in Ethiopia right now. Well, I want to say, no matter what, I love my people, I love my country, everybody. And honestly, I feel like everybody, including the world, you know, I feel for everybody. And even though this time right now might be a sad time in our history, I believe that hopefully this will be in a memory. Things will get better, people will start being better, people will show compassion, love, integrity, care, and all this hate, it just needs to go away. All right, and in a party, you know a real party can't be a party without the food. The food brings people together. 
as you can see these cups right here, I want to mention that it's called Edge. It's a national alcoholic drink of Ethiopia made by the fermentation of honey mixed with water and gushu. This is also mixed with some spices and it is actually the national alcoholic beverage in Ethiopia. Um, we call this honey wine to make it simple. And the red meat you see right there is called kufu, which I said that the Garage people are known for. Um, and that is something that's heavy and important in their culture because that's their signature dish and that's what they make the best according to everybody. And the women are wearing brighter clothes. I asked some family members, you know, well, you know, this clothes is brighter than I'm usually seeing and they said that is one of the traditional clothes of Garage people as well. I believe they wear that for uh, special occasions and that is their attire. The color, the brightness, you know, the boldness is something they do in their ethnic group. And um, that outfit right there that you saw with the white clothes, that's kind of the traditional clothes or the more um, clothes that's not specific to anybody. Even this dress that I'm eating right here, that's another dress that Garage people wear. So yeah, like I said, everybody has their twang and ways of doing things. Hello! Yeah, you yeah, have fun! <laughs> Alright, say hi! Cameraman!